Comme le dit Mademoiselle Moulin, il savait tout. Georges Bidot prendra sa succession. John and I have been, uh, I've known each other for 25 years now, almost. 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 Um, and um, we started our artistic collaboration uh, uh, by um, playing a project around Moondogs music. Uh, that was in 2015, I think, or something, 14 yeah. or 15. And uh, recently we decided to put together another band that would involve, uh, uh, involve um, French and American musicians. And we picked a topic for that. Um, the topic is rebellions. from the French-American Jazz Exchange. So usually it's um, bands led by American and French musicians, and we, we decided that we could cut the cake in two, make half French and half American. And for that reason, we called our heroes, right? Yeah. yeah. The French bass player Sébastien Boisseau and the American drummer Jim Black, which, who are amazing musicians. My name is Greta Thunberg. I am 15 years old and I'm from Sweden. I speak on behalf of climate justice now. Many people say that Sweden is just a small country and it doesn't matter what we do. But I've learned that you will never do Yeah, so the idea of rebellions, it's we're trying to think about what's important and what's in the air today all over the world. And uh, some people are seeing certain governments go way too far one one direction or another and uh, we thought that it would be valuable to kind of gather up historical speeches or historical movements or ideas that are floating around today and express those ideas um, through our own original compositions so the original collaboration that we did uh, of Moondog's music we arranged his music but for this project we wanted to make sure to focus on our original musical ideas and where we're coming from today and incorporate some um, speeches and some voices from, from the past and the present. Too small to make a difference. And if a few children can get headlines all over the world just by not going to school, then imagine what we can all do together if we really wanted to. scared of being unpopular. Ma most of the speeches come from America and France, but also there's, a, there's one from Europe. Um, and some speeches are from, most of the speeches are from the 20th century. Some are actual, and one is actual, I think, only one. Yeah, I think there's only one that's from now. No, two. Two are from uh, our period, I mean, like 21st century. And there's also uh, one very old speech, speech, speech from Olympe de Gouges. It's not really a speech, it was more like a text. So she made the, because um, in French it's the le droit de l'homme, so it means it's the male, it's only for the male, because homme in French is human and male, it's the same, uh, it is, it's the same word. word. So she, she started doing the, the female bright uh, text. And, and uh, I had a, a, a French singer of mine uh, read the text, and we used uh, the, the file of her, uh, the, the audio of her reading this text. So this text is from the, the 18th century. Um, 
Es-tu capable d'être juste C'est une femme qui t'en fait la question. Dis-moi, qui t'a donné le souverain empire d'opprimer mon sexe Ta force Tes talents Parcours la nature dans sa grandeur. Et donne-moi, si tu l'oses, l'exemple de cet empire tyrannique. Each of the speeches we chose, or the texts, uh, they boil down to demanding equality between different people, different races, uh, different uh, social stratas, different uh, uh, incomes, different income levels, and um, and most of the speeches, uh, the people are they're angry, they're fired up because this is a very whatever topic each of the topics they're talking about are very pertinent to their lives and immediate. And so we wanted to, we, we wanted to find and, and accentuate these speeches with uh, a similar kind of music, an immediate music that really speaks to us and means a lot to us. And uh, this project is about marrying the voice with the music. From the mouth of the big part of itself is I shall not be allowed to travel because I have struggled for the independence of the colonial peoples of Africa. The other reason I'm here today, again, from the State Department and from the record of the Court of Appeals, is that when I am abroad, I speak out against injustices against the legal people in this land. That is why I'm here. And all these projects are linked and related to rebellions. Rebellion is someone who's um, uh, fighting against uh, something that's really uh, hurting himself, like really, uh, he's really fighting about something that's um, established in the society and that he wants to be, he wants the society to get rid of it. And that's really important. And that's in every, of, in every speech there is this, this, uh, this aspect of the, of the thing. Mais voici la victoire de ce silence atrocement payé. Le destin bascule. Chef de la résistance martyrisée dans des cariseuses. Regarde de tes yeux disparus toutes ces femmes noires qui veillent nos compagnons. Elles portent le deuil de la France et le tien. Regarde glisser sous les chaînes du Kersi. The music is also linked to, uh, I mean, stylistically, I think it's linked to rebellion. It's like really open, and it's, it's, we, we we decided to make a really a wild music on that on that project. Uh, I mean, for me, it's a, it's probably the wildest music I've ever written and and, and played, and um, and I think it makes sense because it's also very free and it's also very uh, demanding and also, uh, uh, I mean. We're very involved in it. It's it's just like the people who are saying the speeches are involved and are um, their implication in in what they're saying and the meaning of what it is is really important to them. And I think that we really try to uh, uh, have the same um, implication in the music uh, that they have in the in the in in their demands and uh, in the, the things that they're fighting against. Yeah. This is not, this project that we, we just recorded is not easy listening. <laughs> it's, it's not elevator music and it's not friendly music, but neither is no. a, a societal change that Paul Robeson demanded or a, cha a monumental shift on climate change like Greta Thunberg is, is asking for. Like, these are not easy to swallow concepts. They're not gonna be easy to obtain. They're gonna be hard fought and I think uh, when we were writing the music together and writing separately, the attitude behind that and the immediacy behind that crept into the, into the writing. So a lot of times I've seen a lot of projects where if, if words or lyrics or speeches are brought in, the music becomes very tame to serve the music and, I, mm -hmm. and I, to serve the speeches. And I think specifically for this project, we wanted to avoid that 
and we wanted the, the music to be to have just as much a hard edge as some of these uh, forward-thinking speeches. Mm -hmm.